One of the things I get asked all the time, anytime I do it, is how are you recording and controlling your Android smartphone from your computer? Now, for a long time, the answer to that question would have been Microsoft's phone link application, but lately I've been using a different not wireless, unfortunately, but a different sort of more lightweight, more universal solution to this problem. It is called... I assume screen copy is what we're actually supposed to be calling it. I'm going to drop a link in the description down below to this, and I'm also going to show you how to get it up and running. It's actually really, really simple, and they've added some new features, which I'm going to test out in this very video. You're going to scroll down and you're going to look for the version that's going to work for you. Probably just screen copy win 64 2.2.zip. Download that and then you should have a zip file which can be extracted and this is going to be what you have. If you don't know how to extract a zip file on Windows, you should be able to just right click it and do extract to and then there's your folder. At this point on your phone of choice, and yes, I'm using screen copy right now, what you're gonna do is jump into your settings. We're gonna go down to the about phone section, scroll all the way down to build number, click that a whole bunch of times until it says you are now a developer. Go back, go to system, and then look for developer options, click on that. Scroll down and make sure that USB debugging is turned on. When you plug your phone into your computer, you should get a pop-up on your phone asking you to authorize USB debugging on that device. You can tick a box and say yes, that is absolutely fine. After that, this is really very, very simple because all you have to do is run the screen copy.exe. A command prompt window is going to pop up which will look a bit like this, and you can see what it's doing. It's got my pixel fold, and it is now off and running. Now, if you want to kind of quote unquote install this, because you can't really install it, it's a portable application, I'll show you what I did. In the root of my main C drive, I have an ADB folder, and this is where I keep my ADB files. This is where I keep anything I do with this kind of stuff. This is just where I keep it. And so that's where I put my screen copy folder. And so what I'm gonna do now, is I'm going to delete my old screen copy folder. I'm going to take the new screen copy folder and I'm just gonna call it, I'm just gonna leave it actually. I'm gonna do control X to cut and control V to paste. And then if I use the default uh, Windows File Explorer, the other one I was using is a third party one and I evidently can't do this. We're going to just pin that to our start screen so that now it should pop up there. There you go. There is screen copy. So we're going to go and fire that up and let's drag this back over. And we are now once again up and running. Let's resize this. Boom. Done. So that's it. We are now installed. So what can you do with this? Well, you can control your phone. You can swipe up. You can scroll with your scroll wheel on your mouse. You can click and you can type things with your keyboard. Anything you want to do should work relatively well. But now there are some additional things they've added with this version. Personally, this is really all I wanted to do. I just wanna have the screen on my computer screen, control with my mouse and keyboard. But again, let's look at some of the other new features. If we look here, we can see there's now camera capture. So you can run a command and actually begin recording the camera on the device. And to do this, we're going to double click on the open a terminal link. Let's go back to our picture in picture. We're going to type in this screen copy dash dash video source equals camera. And what's gonna happen now is this. We have in this window over here, the camera on the device that I am doing this with. You can also type in screen copy r test.mp4. That's just what I'm going to call it. And if you hit enter on that, it should begin recording what you're doing on this screen now. And as you can see over here, there is that file. And as soon as I'm done, I can just close that out. And if I fire up this video, there you go. There is that video recorded in nice beautiful quality. Now I mentioned in the beginning of this video that this was something you needed to plug your device in to use and that's not explicitly true. That is the easiest way to do it. You plug it in, fire up screen copy, double click it and you're done. But there is a way 
to actually do this wirelessly as well. We're once again going to launch this open a terminal here dot bat with your phone still plugged in what you're going to run is screen copy minus minus tcp ip and once this has done its thing you should now be connected at this point you can unplug your phone and as you can see here it is still working it is now running this over wi-fi for me it's still probably simpler just to plug it in do what i need to do control over here and unplug it when i'm done but if you need to do it wirelessly maybe you're gonna you know record a game or something like that and you don't want to be plugged in while you're doing it that makes this you know a pretty useful thing to do as well overall for a free piece of software this thing is absolutely fantastic i use it all the time can't recommend it highly enough so hopefully this was useful for some of you fine folk out there uh, watching this video subscribe for more content like this i'll see you on the next one and until next time stay nerdy my friends